We're gonna see our baby for the first time. I might cry. I'm just about to cry thinking about it. I'm are excited. You, are you saying it's high? Yeah, we're gonna see the ultrasound. Oh, is that today? Yes! Uh, Back in the car and look what we just got. I did a baby pictures! Ah, I'm so excited. It was so cool because you can see the heart beating. You can see the baby moving. So we made it to the kitchen. Oh, look, you can see baby. There's baby right there. A lot of people are asking why I didn't show Chase and I when I surprised him for the video. But one of the reasons why we wanted to do that is because it was just like a really, really special moment that we just wanted between us. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I swear, if you're still with me over the course of these like three videos I've now made on this situation, this will be the last because this is just fulfilling, fulfilling my my suspicions fulfilling most people's suspicions that kennedy was not truthful when she said that she was telling her husband for the very first time some of you guys might be like what are you going on about some of you guys might be like we're so bored at this but the thing is the thing is she has a very young audience i've spoken about this before she has an extremely young audience as do not enough nelsons in their entirety and she made a video that was not truthful, it was not genuine, and we now have confirmation that she literally, I can't, the thing is right, she knows that it doesn't actually matter, it doesn't matter if she wasn't honest with her audience, it doesn't matter if she basically created this video that wasn't honest whatsoever, because her audience won't care and they're too young to notice. But the thing is, is that I just think that that is low. I really honestly do. I don't like it when influencers lie to their audience. I don't like it when influencers like do videos such as, oh, telling my husband for the very first time that I'm pregnant just to cash in on that sweet, sweet paycheck when it's not even true anyway. There's a reasoning as to why she didn't film his reaction. And the reasoning she gave was absolute bollocks because she then came out with this video like less than 24 hours ago. And she is off to the ultrasound, her very first ultrasound with her husband. And they're seeing the baby for the very first time. Okay, so those ultrasound pictures that were on the fridge when she was doing her I'm telling my husband for the first time. She wasn't telling him for the first time because he was actually there at that ultrasound. She doesn't act like, I know this may sound so petty compared to what I could be talking about, but it really, really irks me because she is taking advantage of the fact that her audience are just oblivious to this and are not going to care. If an influencer is lying to you, it is so crap because you are how they make their money. Without you, without your viewership, they won't have any money. But everyone who watches them is being lied to. And I don't like being lied to. If I went somewhere for a cup of coffee and it was a really like nasty cup of coffee, I wouldn't be paying for it. Likewise, if you make your money off of people watching your content and you're literally lying to them and just like, I, okay, probably that's such a bad analogy. But you see what I mean? It does get to me because they're taking advantage of their like literally kid audience. Okay. And the thing that, like, I'm going to play a, play the clip whereby she's off to her ultrasound for the very first time, which, like, she she's out here literally admitting the fact that she was lying, and she won't care. Do you know what I mean? If she actually cared, she wouldn't be showing this video, but I suppose the money's more important. And supposedly people say that this sister is actually one of the, like, more wholesome, better ones, but... Mm, no I don't like it I don't like I don't like parents to exploit their kids online I also don't like it when influencers lie and they lie just to be able to cash in on the telling my husband I'm pregnant thing that is the reason why she's done it to get money from an audience that she's basically lying to in order to get that money that doesn't sit right with me and if I ever see stuff like this I will call it out I have my suspicions at first but this is just confirming my suspicions and it's just not cool. She's just still out here lying about it. And I'm like, save your whole, we wanted it to be a special moment because it was a lie, okay? Yeah, you may have wanted to save the reaction. That's all nice. But why make that little video in the very first place? Oh, it's to get, it's to get on the trending. It's to get in with all the key topics. I know how YouTube works. Like I've been here for like three years. I know how YouTube works. And that was just low it's just low it's just low in my own humble opinion hey guys chase and i are in the car 
We are really excited. Chase, are you excited? Very excited. We're gonna see our baby for the first time. I might cry. I'm just about to cry thinking about it. I'm are excited. You, are you saying it today? Yeah, we're gonna see the ultrasound. Oh, is oh, that today? Yes! Wow, I thought that was later on. No, we're gonna have the ultrasound today! Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, we're gonna go. I'm so excited. Can we find out what the boy or girl's playing? No. What will they know? They will not know. No, but like, will like the. Like... Well, it depends if they see it. But we're gonna do the blood test. Usually you can't tell till like a little bit later. But if they look at the ultrasound and go, oh my gosh, it's a boy. We're gonna say, we're gonna say no. Do not tell us the gender yet because we have to have a gender reveal. We are gonna be that couple. What are we doing? Of course you are, and you're probably gonna film and upload it straight to YouTube. Although, let, let's just hope that she actually is doing a genuine gender reveal. Like, it's not like a reconstructed one, like her telling I'm husband, telling I'm husband, telling my husband. I don't know yet. We're gonna figure that out. JD will be here though, so I feel like she'll be able to help me figure things out, which I'm excited for. Look at what we just got. I did not mean the pictures. Ah, I'm so excited. It was so cool because you could see the heart beating. You could see the baby moving. Chase, is this similar to what your ultrasound was like? What? I did not do ultrasound for babies. You did ultrasound on feet. Ah uh, yes, the ultrasound pictures, which are the ultrasound pictures on the fridge. And by the way, these are ultrasound pictures because she actually did a separate vlog where she said, hey look, look, it's my baby. The ultrasound pictures, okay? Extremely happy for them. They're having a baby, that's fantastic, that's great. I've actually got two kids of my own and I remember the very first ultrasound. It's amazing, do you know what I mean? Like, especially if you've never had one before, the whole thing is just phenomenal, it's amazing. You feel immediately at peace of mind, do you know what I mean? But the thing is is that this is just such bollocks because she's just lying. And it does annoy me because instead of admitting to the lie, she just came on and gave another lie. Like, oh, we just didn't film the reaction because, uh, you know, because we wanted it to be special when in actual fact it's because he already do. Um, and now they're coming out with this video and it's like you're literally just telling like you're just admitting to it now it's like he went with you to that ultrasound he already knew oh i just in some influences man and the thing that does irk me even more about this is that their whole entire family is very like is it the latter day state latter day saints like very like mormony and i swear like you would have just thought that they'd be a lot more like honest and truthful and da -da 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 -da. like i'm not taking the mickey they're very, like, into that. I mean, she even said that one of her sisters was coming back from a... I don't know what it is. I'm not... I'm really not a right Christian. A mission. Is that what it's called? When you come back from it? Anyway, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, she's out here literal, literal lying. It's like she's going to have little kids looking up to her going like, Oh, she'd never lie. She never does that. It's like she is. She's lying because she wants your money. Because she was trying to cash in on that title. And that is what annoys me. And I... I after this video, I swear, I'm not going to make any more videos on this. But it is affirming my whole beliefs that the whole, like, not enough Nelsons as a whole, right? I'm literally not going to talk about them for the longest time because I'm so sick of it. But, oh my gosh, there are kids screaming outside. Um, I just, that like, their whole family just, you know, I just have really sneaky suspicions about them. I don't feel like they are honest. I feel like they do things for clicks and views. I feel like a lot of the things that Tiffany has done... Um, even, you know, showing off her kids' illnesses, showing off, like, bereavements within the family, showing off, like, just all sorts of stuff, like, really personal things, like, watching my daughter, watching my eight-year-old daughter shave her legs for the very first time, like, little things like that, they do it because they want the money, and this just further proves my beliefs, and I was always told that Kennedy was among the more, like, wholesome, more quieter, more, you know, won't do this and that. But she's already out here saying she's going to do a gender reveal. It probably isn't even going to be in real time. They probably would have already done it and they're just doing like a reenactment. But this is, I just wanted to make my point, okay? Because I've had so much hate from the eight-year-old minions, the eight-year-old, it sounds a bit mean, but I've had a lot of hate from their fans who are basically children uh, saying that, no, she'd never lie. You don't know what you're talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Um, she, she was, she was lying. She is still keeping up with her lie. And it's just annoying because they'll literally do anything for money. I just, basically, honesty is the best policy. Like, I'm, I'm, I like people being honest with me. Like, if you have a problem with me, I'd much rather someone just tell me rather than, like, tiptoe around the issue. Well, it's the same with pretty much most things. I just like people to be very upfront and honest, especially when it comes to being an influencer and you're influencing little kids. 
you know, anyway, that's pretty much all I'm going to say on this matter because I've clarified it and I'm not going to be talking about this ever again because it's just so long. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.